Construction workers have begun a multi-million dollar project to rebuild the Purple Heart Memorial Bridge on I-10 over the Natchez River between Beaumont and Orange County. KFDM reporter Leslie Rangel explains some drivers worry about short-term traffic headaches, but the Transportation Department says the plan is designed to minimize the pain. What you're seeing is not the camera shaking, it's the ground. A whole show complete with flying sparks and loud hammering. What you're seeing here is one of the first things that you're going to see ever done on a bridge of this type of size. Construction on the Natchez River project has officially begun. It's more modern looking uh, and, and the entire design is really going to be something that's going to fit more in the motif of what Southeast Texas and Beaumont is all about. The project is meant to replace the old bridge over the Natchez. The old one was built in the 50s with an addition in the 70s. And that's what we're doing. We're replacing a bridge just like you would replace a house or a car after you get to the point to where you can't maintain what you already have. Construction does leave some motorists with concerns. That means backed up day and night. So I don't think they are really considering uh, uh, the hardship that it's going to, you know, it's going to be for the surrounding people in this area. You know, I'm sure it's going to get congested, you know, especially in the traffic. This project is expected to take up to three years, but TxDOT says that it has been well thought out and it is expected to keep headaches to a minimum. Uh, this bridge will always have two lanes eastbound and two lanes westbound. We can't afford to go from uh, one lane eastbound and one lane westbound for two and a half years. We just can't do that. Construction workers assure the heavy lifting and loud clinking is worth it to keep drivers safe on the road. Just like all any other construction, you know, you just have to give and take a little. In Orange County, Leslie Ringel, KFDM 6 News. Shepard expects lane closures to begin in late fall. He says none of the work will take place during peak or rush hours.